If I taste my meal and it's awful, I can at least serve cereal, so. I'm Brenda Blanco, and I'm a producer for being tasty and tasty. People are kind of like embracing the random things I cook. My name is Spencer Althaus. I don't have much experience as a cook. I do watch a lot of Food Network though. As much as I like cooking, I don't venture out because I am too scared to try something, make it, and then have it not taste good. And then I'm like, okay, well I just ruined this whole meal. I'm very nervous, but I'm also super competitive. So I hope that my years of watching the Food Network have served me well. Food Network has a huge power, and as far as I know, he could have actually learned how to cook watching. I have no idea what's inside this box of surprises. Thirty dollars, dude. This is New York. Yeah. This, Do we get that? I mean, we can get like two Brussels sprouts for thirty dollars. Yeah, seriously. And that's about it. As someone who's very single and doesn't go on many dates, um, <laughs> I'm not very excited. I've been married for a long time. I've never done like a first date kind of thing. Oh man, it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be. I'm like trying to create like four different recipes inside my mind and hope that one of them has like all the ingredients that I have there. And if he then, doesn't? And then I'm screwed. Oh shit. <laughs> 10 minutes it is. Does it start now? It looks like it's more of a deli than an actual place to buy food. Maybe I can do something with some of this stuff. Maybe I can bread something with potato chips. <gasps> That's what I needed. That's what I needed. I grab the fettuccine and I start looking for like sauces. And I was super lucky to find tomato sauce and some roasted peppers, which is awesome because those kind of do go together. I have five more minutes and I need to fuck out of here. Four of those meatballs, thank you so much. This is going to be for an imaginary boy. They need protein and let's do something with this. Okay, this is the moment of truth. $29, guys, precisely on point. I don't know you can do this, but good luck, like seriously. Okay. I do wish you. Good luck. Right before I walked into the bodega, I had two meal ideas in my mind. One was gonna be ramen, and then the other one was French toast. And then as I got into the bodega, I realized that there was more of an option for French toast. Is there, there's no bread in here. Do you have like regular eggs? Can I do four of them? Four you have it. And then do you have any regular bread as well? Just like slices of white bread or something? I saw cereal and I wanna dip the French toast in cereal afterwards. But what kind of cereal do I want? I take the cocoa pebbles and then I grab some nutter butters because I'm like, okay, I can crunch these up. And like maybe the peanut butter part of it will taste really good with the French toast and like the chocolate from the cocoa pebbles. I was hoping they had like cinnamon toast crunch that I could just take the cinnamon. Is this the same thing as proper lemon juice? I'm an amateur for a reason, guys. Special K just in case. I need milk. Uh, Perfect. I'm especially nervous about this because it's literally the first time that I'm ever making French toast. And I don't know if that's a very smart move to go into a cooking competition where I'm cooking a meal that I have never made before. So hopefully I don't set myself up for failure. Start sweating right now. Okay. I'm so nervous. I'm like, I don't even have to whisk this because I'm shaking. That's how nervous I am. For French toast, you need to mix, I just learned this today. You have to mix eggs and milk and supposedly cinnamon, but I didn't have cinnamon together and like whisk that up to dip the bread in to like make the coating for the French toast. But then I thought as a way to like elevate it, it would be cool to add uh, like the cocoa pebbles and the nutter butter like crunched up. He calls me, he says, you know, the cereal is not sticking to the French toast. And I'm like, okay, like, let me, let's see what you're doing, yeah? <laughs> it's not sticking. He didn't mash the cereal. He was just like expecting like it to magically stick to the French toast. And it just, that's when I realized, oh my God, he's lost. You want this to be smaller. That's too oh big, my that's God. too big. So just like, you okay. know, go I back to bag. your okay. mashing process. She did help me out there. I'll give her that. So he keeps looking at my way, then he sees me pulling out like this crazy huge meatballs and I guess 
its size did scare him and he starts like yelling, I see, I hate you. I hate you so much. That's like a proper meal. They're like, you guys got 10 minutes and I'm ready to surf. I'm already like grabbing my plate and Spencer's on the other side saying that he has to redo his French toast because he burned three of them. It was just really fun to see him at the at that moment. Like there are like drops of sweat and he's looking red. The cheese over top is just grated so perfectly that it's like falling like snowflakes. And I'm so jealous and I'm mad that I didn't have confectionery sugar to like put on top of my French toast, because that would be like equal to what her Parmesan cheese is to her plate. Hers looked really good, and I'm mad that I had to go up against that. He knows his shit looks amazing. Oh my god. And he's just being really humble, but it's fine. I am being written no, I get it's... it. I wish it would have sucked, to be honest, but now I'm just like, oh, well, he you can't didn't, win. You didn't taste it yet, so you don't know. It could have sucked. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Negative points right there, because I just spilled on my face. Yeah, it tastes really good. It's really well seasoned. This is definitely something that you would get at like a nice Italian restaurant that if someone was super trying to impress someone else. If you're on a first date and then like, if the girl's eating, it can be very like sloppy looking. Ooh, yep, I like this one. You can taste the sweet in it. I mean, people eat breakfast for dinner too, so it could be like a breakfast dinner. You're trying to be a little unexpected. I guess we're gonna go with the pasta. Pasta. It's more intimate feeling. And the winner is definitely the French toast. It changed my life. I might have to take a plate with me right now. If you were like, oh, I'm gonna make breakfast on my first date, that kind of implies that you want a lot from it. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I think I'm gonna go with the pasta as the better choice. It's like creative um, instead of the simple pasta. I'd probably go with the French toast. Cause I feel like it's safer than trying to deal with like tomato sauce and garlic breath and that's just like a whole lot of added nerves you really just don't need. Should they just take them off? Okay, we're taking our blindfolds off. Tara. Yeah, hey, this is what I'm gonna do with. Really good French toast, solid French toast. Strawberries are a little soggy, but easy to eat. The pasta's cooked very well. The meat is actually pretty good, seasoned pretty well. I don't think any guy would think that was like a cute way to eat pasta. The strawberries make the bread a little bit soggy. Um, I'm not a fan of the bodega meatball at all. I'm sorry. I like this, yeah. I think this. I would eat this. And the corner store challenge winner is... I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I don't know what to say. I want to thank Ina Garten and my mom for teaching me how to bake, even though I made French toast and didn't bake it. <laughs> and I would like to thank Brenda for, she really did help me through this. I'm happy you won. I should have never helped him. <laughs> but I think that we both share it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take this home, but we'll share it right now. 